It's amazing to me that something so potent and such a good herb is considered a weed. Today we're talking all about dead nettle. So dead nettle usually grows wherever weeds grow. So this area right here is beside a building where we keep our pots and things and dead nettle just loves this area. So first we're gonna talk about identifying your dead nettle, okay? Dead nettle has heart-shaped leaves. A lot of people get this confused with hen bit. Hen bit does not have heart-shaped leaves, but it has these heart-shaped leaves, little delicate purple flowers on the top, and also the leaves at the top will begin turning purple as well. You're looking for a square stem. I don't know if you can see it there, and it's also hollow. So to harvest it, you just pick it. I leave the root system. I don't pull up the roots. Um, that way it'll come back next year. Plus this stuff is in the mint family. Doesn't taste like mint, but it is in the mint family. So it spreads like wildfire. So there's really no concern about picking too much of it. So let's talk about this weed. God is amazing to me. How he gives us everything that we need. We just need to know where to look. This stuff right here, these leaves made into a tea, are excellent for seasonal allergies and will help relieve those allergy symptoms. Right here in allergy season, when the pollen is so thick, he has put this out here for us. We just have to know how to use it. Something else that dead nettle is good for, it's cold and flu season. So we're gonna take this in and I'm gonna strip the leaves and we're gonna let them lay out and dry. Um, and I will put them in an airtight container to have for the winter. Because dead nettle warms your body. It encourages your body to perspire, to sweat. So in the winter time, if you've got cold or flu symptoms and you've got those awful chills, you drink you some dead nettle tea It'll warm your body and encourage sweating, fever breaking. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? It just blows my mind. There's a pretty one. See how those leaves are purple on the top? So we're gonna get this in the house. So I've got a colander here with a plate. We're gonna just strip our leaves and flowers and all. Got a plate under it in case any seeds fall out and then I can go spread those seeds back out. The chickens will love the stems so they'll get those. Got an ant crawl on my arm. <laughs> Like I said, we've got everything that we need right in our backyard. We just have to know how to use it. So I'm gonna lay these out on a cookie sheet to dry and I'll put them in an airtight container and put them, put them up for the winter to have, you know, for cold and flu season. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a little something about dead nettle. And go out and find you some. Anyways, I'll talk to y'all next time.